Welcome everybody, Axel Fire Flurry here, and once again, we have the amazing, beautiful, and all-around talented Jenna Aww. here to assist me again today because I prefer working with people than by myself because if I work by myself, I sound like a moron. So she's my sanity in this video. Oh no, you don't sound like a moron. No, see, when I work alone, like if I'm trying to do like Let's Plays, I've noticed I can't do it. I sound boring. I sound really, really boring. Oh, you wanted to hear boring? See my battle video that I finally uploaded. That's boring. Oh, no, I saw that. I think you did a fairly good job. Oh, thank you. All of you, check out that video. It is now a requirement. <laughs> okay, well, today we are actually going to mix uh, two of my series together. Uh, I have recently discovered that uh, one of Jenna's favorite types is electric, and since that was my next video on my top six favorites, I figured let's work together. Aww. So are we just so, going to be, like, saying each of our own six, or do you want to just, like, mix in a few? Uh, you just give out your top six, like the six you would have if you were to have a mono electric team, either for competitive or just because you love electric types, and then I guess I'll go, because ladies always go first. Aww. Alright, well, these aren't in any particular order or, like, level of appreciation because I actually like most of these at the same amount of level. I just have, like, different reasons for it. And most of them are personal. That's pretty much how mine are, so you're cool. Alright, well then, to start things off, my favorite electric type, and this is, like, the only mega on this list. Well, like, I say this, like, this is the only one that's listed as a mega. But there are, there's like one more that is, that actually does have a Mega. And that is Mega Manetric. I love it. Like, not just design-wise, or in, like, this one doesn't really have that much of, like, a nostalgic feel to it. This has more of, like, a competitive reason. Because it has great ways of synergizing with a team. You have Lightning Rod before you Mega Evolve, so it can, you can become a great pivot as well as using Volt Switch. And then once you Mega Evolve, you get Intimidate, which is incredible to have on any team, whether it's singles or doubles. It's just a good ability to have. So that's that's my first one. I, I can agree to that. Those are, those are definitely good reasons. Mm -hmm. So what's your first? My first, again, in no particular order, just like you, I'm going to have to say Raichu. Aww. <laughs> because, okay, this is probably going to be the girliest non manly moment I'm ever going to have on my YouTube channel. Actually, no, there will probably be more now that I think about it. <laughs> but it just looks so adorable, and if it's one thing I love about animals, it's their feet. <laughs> if they have cute little feet with little pads, I just want to play with those like, all day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could have some competitive play, but, I mean, back when I played the trading card game, like, almost religiously, and I had, like, hundreds of cards, I always wanted Raichu in my team. And on top of that, I always felt like I was better than Ash for having a Raichu instead of just a Pikachu. Dude, everyone felt better than Ash when they had a Raichu. Like, this is going to sound really heartless, but towards the end of my game, when I first played Yellow, and I realized I couldn't evolve my Pikachu, I asked my brother, I was like, how come I can't evolve it? He's like, oh, you can. I was just like, wait, what, how? He's like, just trade it to me, and then I can evolve it, and then I'll trade it back to you. And I was just like, will it walk with me anymore? And he's just like, no. I was just like, I can live with that. <laughs> and this is like me at four. I was just like, I can live with that. Oh, my goodness. That's Awesome. I, I love everything about that situation. <laughs> I almost put that on my list, but I kind of decided against it because there was something else I liked a little more. Should be more. <laughs> Alright, so number five. Okay. Uh, this is Ampharos. So, this is actually... Mega a, Ampharos? No, just normal Ampharos. Although it's... Oh, I it's, like the pretty hair. Yeah, it's mega. It's just like... When it starts out in its base form, it's like, oh my god, I look, look at all this hair I have. And it's like, oh my god, I'm starting to go bald. And then it's like, it gets to its final evolution. It's like, what happened to my life? And then it gets a mega evolution. It's like, sexy back. 
He could have bring sexy back. I never left. Oh my god. <laughs> but like, this is both competitive and nostalgic. Like, I actually, what is it? The game I had for Gen 2 was a copy of Gold. And there's a funny story behind that. And it, it kind of does relate to and for us as well. But what happened was I was visiting my grandma all the way up in New Jersey. And there's this barbecue, uh, barbecue place. I think it was like Famous Dave's or something. <gasps> Famous Dave's. Yeah. But what happened was I'm probably about six. And I'm still playing my own copy of Yellow because I didn't really have anything else to play. And I didn't even know there was a Gen 2. So, like, here I am. I'm still playing it. I'm playing it for, like, the hundredth time now. And I, like, all of a sudden, the, this family is walking out. And there's this little boy who's probably, like, just a little older than I am, just based on his height. And I can hear the music because he has his uh, Game Boy all the way up on the volume. So I can hear the battle music. And then he just, he stops. He rips out the cartridge and throws it. He's so angry because I just, like, he just fainted his last Pokemon. And he just storms off. And I'm like, what just happened? And so, like, later, like, my mom just actually pulled me inside after that because she just noticed I wasn't following her anymore. What was that? What the fuck? You just dragged me inside. So I figured I was like, all right, I'll just wait this one out until everyone's like talking to each other and not paying attention. So 30 minutes into the dinner, I slip out. I go outside and I pick up a cartridge and it was a heart gold. Well, not heart gold. It was a Pokemon gold. And I was just like, I never heard of this before. I was like, what is this? Is this a new game? And I was just like started getting all excited. And then I flipped it over, and he wrote Rest in Peace on the back. Like, R.I.P. I was just like, he, what the fuck? The ultimate Nuzlocke, everybody. Wow. I was just like, wow, what the hell? This kid got so angry. So I come back inside, and I put it in my, uh, my Game Boy, because, like, I'm still using a Game Boy Color. He was using, like, that big purple one at the time. What was it? I can't even remember what it was called, but it was, like, that big purple one that it was, like, um, long ways, horizontal. You know what I'm talking about? That be I, like, I think I know what you're talking about. It was the one before the, uh, what was it, the SP. I want to say Game Boy, Mi oh, the Game Boy Advance? Yes, that's what it is. He had, he was playing in one of those, so, but I go back inside and I pop it in, and... I load up his save file just because I was curious, and I see he was at Goldenrod, and I didn't know what this place was at the time, but I remember it distinctly now, like, uh, like now, and apparently he had way too much trouble with Whitney. He got so mad because he, Whitney. he couldn't get past the mill tank. He just rips the cartridge, throws it out, and just abandons it. And I was just like, okay, we'll find your keepers. I would overwrite his save file, and then I start playing. I'm like, oh, yay, this is so cool, new Pokemon, yeah! I actually have a picture of it, of the uh, gold cartridge. So I'll send that to you, just as proof. Oh, my goodness, that is, I'm loving this. Yeah, but do it. when I started over, like, one of the first Pokemon that I caught and wanted to keep on my team, because, like, you know how you start out, you just encounter, like, um, shit, like, you encounter Hoot Hoot, and, oh, Centred. yeah, and Centred, like, I liked Centred, I was just like, this is okay, but it doesn't, like, wow me, like, I look at it, I'm like, eh, it's too fat, it's too fat, but then I saw Marie for the first time, I was just like, oh, it's so adorable, I need it. And I had to throw, like, five Pokeballs at it, because even though I got it down to, like, one HP, I still couldn't catch it. It still kept popping out. And then when I finally got it, I was just like, yay! And then I kept it with me the entire time, through the entire playthrough, and I loved it. It was my favorite team member. 
Like, this thing got more love than my starter did. Dose. Huh. That's a good choice. Now, the funny thing is, the only reason he made it on this list is I absolutely loved Pokemon the Movie 2000. Oh, I see where this is going. I absolutely, I begged every adult I knew at the time, take me to this movie! <laughs> take me! My body is ready for this! Did you ever go? I did go. I actually went several times, and I ended up getting multiple cards, and I loved it. Oh, nice! Lost them all. Oh! <laughs> Funny story, I'll actually have to share that with you later, but uh, the reason I put Zapdos on this is because I love the movie so much, and I love the poem at the beginning. I, one of my greatest non-actual poems ever, in my opinion. Huh. I still have most of it memorized. That's actually really interesting. I mean, that, and he's, like, really spiky, and my best friend at the time, we used to play, pretend we were Pokemon trainers a lot, and if we were really bored in a, uh, in a, an assembly, we would just sit there, like, oh my gosh, it's an Articuno, we need to chase it and catch it! <laughs> that is awesome! It's a Zapdos! I mean, I still have one of my old Pokeballs with a Sand Slash in it, and it's my bro. <laughs> nice! I had a Butterfree, but I'm like, screw this. Dude. Our third choice is Electabuzz. Cheater. What? He's on my list, too. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we just have to both discuss it. Yes. All right. Um, the reason I chose him was because when I watched the anime, do you remember that little girl from the with the baseball team? What was it? The Electabuzzes? I think I do, yes. Yeah, and she was like a huge fan of Electabuzz, and then she had her own with her. I thought that was cute. And then, like, seeing Ellie Kid, I was just like, oh, look, like, it's so tiny and adorable. I can plug it in my outlet, except it probably electrocute the entire house and drain all the power. Yeah, probably a bad idea. Yeah, probably. But... I always thought that was one of the coolest Pokemon, especially, like, seeing it in the Gen 1 anime as well. And, like, I always find that I like the Pokemon that are really hard to obtain in-game. I'm the same way. So, like, Ampharos and Manetric are probably, like, actually a lot of my list is, like, it's easy to find, but... This is the only one on it that's, like, really difficult to find, and it just makes me appreciate it much more. Yeah, isn't it, like, where you can only get Electabuzz in, like, one game, and you get, like, Scyther in another? I think... Or have I just gone Zubat crazy? I think so. I feel like it I... was, um, you could get Magmore in one game, like, for Gen 1, and then you could only get Electabuzz in the other, and then yeah. you had to go to, the, like, the power plant... To get it, and then uh, for Magmar, you had to go to the uh, what the, was it the the Pokemon Lab, not the one in in Pallet Town, obviously. But what was the other one? It was that abandoned building. Uh, I I actually can't remember its name, so I'm just gonna call it the Pokemon Haunted House. <laughs> yeah, like it pretty much was a haunted house. I mean, you got like abandoned fetuses rolling around, and you got burglars. <laughs> And Muck and Grimer. I mean, that's pretty much a terror house. <laughs> that's a terrifying house. But, um... Although, you, I think you can get Growlithe in that house, which oh, yeah. got me excited. Which are adorable. Look, I want to hug it. So cute. 